Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rose Shadowcat, and welcome to Irrational. Uh, this is another, like, RPG type of game. So, I'm excited. Uh, I'm not too sure how I move. Oh! I can click on it! New game, let's go. This game auto saves at certain points. Select the save slot you'd like to use by making a new save. Then press escape to start the game. Uh, yes. Then escape. Ooh! Uh, yes. Very, very beautiful. Is that a cat? It looks like a cat. It looks like a bunny and a cat. Irrational? This is a very lovely home. Just a second, Leroy. I hope I pronounced the name right. There's voice acting. <gasps> hey, I'm home. Everything gone okay here? Oh, I thought there was going to be more voice acting. I was so excited. Hey, Lucy. Sorry if I woke you. I uh, refilled your prescription. It's downstairs at the kitchen table. Come on. What? Lucy, you need to take a pill after dinner. I haven't had dinner. Lunch? No. Alright, if I make you some food, will you eat it and take a pill? Yeah, thanks. What would you like to eat? <gasps> Ooh, okay. Pancakes, scrambled eggs, French toast, cereal, biscuits and gravy, stuffed omelette. All of those sound like breakfast foods to me. Well, besides pancakes. Um... I would like scrambled eggs. Doesn't matter, I think. Oh. I'll be right back. <laughs> bye bye, kitty. There's a heartbeat. Leroy! If Lucy hasn't eaten, I assume she hasn't fed you either. <laughs> that sounds a lot like my cat, actually. All right, I'll whip up something for you. Hmm, do cats like vegetables? Oh, wait. Hmm, do... <laughs> wait a second. Hmm, do cats like vegetables? I don't think they do. Or am I forced to go out and catch a fish? Probably go catch a fish. It's no good. How you managed to survive before I moved in here? I'll never know. My parents took care of him. Oh, Lucy, I didn't mean it like that. I was just, just talking with Lurai. Like, uh, uh, like a crazy person. Never listen to a crazy person. It's, it's fine. 
Ferky. That's her name. Their name. Ferky. Interesting. And I mean... He's my cat. I should be the one to take care of him. He's already sick enough as it is without me neglecting him. It's no problem, really. I like him at all. So I don't know, focusing on yourself isn't a terrible thing, you know? No, I know. It just makes me feel bad. What? Why? You taking care of my cat? Taking care of me, basically? Just makes me feel like a burden. It's not a problem. I know it is. But thanks. And thanks for making me an afternoon breakfast. Oh, right. Here you go. And, uh, it would be great if you'd take the pill. <laughs> I will. Good. Sorry. I'm actually going out tonight. That's a new cafe that recently opened. Yeah? And you know how I'm sucker for being turned down, so wanna come? Thanks, but... I don't know. Well, you could just try. I mean, you could always go home if you start feeling bad or something. Think it's better than staying in bed all day? It's up to you. I just don't think it will help anything. Maybe not, but I think it's worth trying. Don't you? Uh, you may be right. You... I don't know. Lucy, come on. I really don't want to get into it. Sorry. You gotta, you gotta realize that I just want to help. I don't want you to, Ferky. I don't want to be taken care of, like I'm some wounded animal. I'm just saying you don't have to deal with this yourself. I can't deal, I can't deal it with it myself. People won't let me. Because they care about you. I know, it just makes me feel like crap. Because I can't do anything in return. You can come with me to the cafe. That'd be nice. But I can't, Ferky. It's not about willpower. I just can't. Like a broken leg, right? No. Not like a broken leg. Like what it is. A broken mind. Broken thoughts. I just think that you could use a distraction from those thoughts. It wouldn't distract me. It would just shine a light on it. Just put me in danger. But you're not in danger. But I'd feel like it. Face your fears. They're inside my head. I'm facing them every day. All I'm trying to do is ignore them. Have a few moments of peace where I don't feel like I have to try. Don't have to try to be calm. But isn't that, doesn't that mindset just make it worse? Don't you think I wish I could go out? Do you think I enjoy spending my time in bed? No, of course not. But that's why I don't get why you don't just do it. I'm not trying to pressure you. Okay, but it sounds like you're pressuring. Just saying. If you want to stay, you can. I'm just trying to understand. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just... There's a wall. Ferky. Quite literally, there's a wall. Okay. Everyone can keep telling me to go to the other side, but how am I supposed to do that? 
it's like everybody is on this secret, this knowledge of walking through walls. You'll do it, right? Everyone, every day. So am I just weak because I can't do that? Because I can't get this damn wall out of my head? Like it's trying to protect me from something awful. There's gotta be something to do. Start somewhere? I feel like I'm trying. As if I'm chipping small pieces away every now and then. But it's just this feeling of... What if? What if there's really something awful on the other side? And hey, that's a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? I'm worried about getting a panic attack, so of course that'll be all I can think about. Something to just confirm my fear and build the wall even taller and sturdier than before. And I'm afraid I'll be stuck forever. I... that sounds scary. Yeah. It is. I guess I'm sorry for pushing you. You know what you need more than me. Don't be sorry. You're being really sweet and I'm... Well, I'm being kind of mean to you. It's just... I'm trying, Ferky. I just need to do it at my own pace. You're right. I'm sorry. I know you're trying to help. It just feels... I don't know. Bad that you have to spend so much time focusing on me. Consider it my daily workout. Go out. Enjoy your evening. I'll be okay. Okay. I don't see it. Me neither. It's not that difficult. Saying close but not close enough makes no sense, as being close enough still means you're close and therefore did not achieve the goal in question. It means that you almost touched the magic key but it was ripped away. So you were close but not close enough. Jordan, you're a smart guy. Don't fall into that trap. It doesn't make any sense. What is close enough? Seriously. Is that not just another way of saying did it in this context? Even though it implies that you were close, which in return implies you didn't do the thing you wanted to do. What are you trying to pull? I'm saying that it should be changed to close, but unachievable, unachieved, but we already have close, but no cigar. So in fact, I'm saying it should be a, it shouldn't be a thing at all. Sounds dumb. Your face sounds dumb. Oh, and that makes sense. Makes sense to your mirror. Who? <laughs> what an insult. What a roast. Am I having a stroke? Lucy must be going mad if you're this neurotic all the time at home. We usually don't end up in these kind of topics. Lucky her. That's like your whole personality. Are you saying you're only a crazy freak around us? Lucy's just a different sort of friend. Like the type of friend sitting in a tree and spelling. Yeah. That's what I mean. No, I just... I mean a joke around with her. Uh, wait. No, I just... I mean I joke around with her, but it's really hard actually starting a casual... 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 <laughs> casual conversation with her. I can read, I swear. Is she still depressed? Depressed and generalized anxiety disorder. Says it's a living hell. I bet. She probably just needs to get out a little more. See that the world isn't that scary. 
I tried, Malcolm. I even invited her here, but she said it wasn't possible. She probably just needs a little push. No, it's not like that. It doesn't just work like that. I really don't think she's just lying in bed because that's safe and comfortable. I think it's because she's afraid of, you know, life. And how is that affecting you? I mean, you've been living with her for months now. And if she needs, never gets out, she must rely a lot on you. Isn't that tough? Sometimes. She's a really nice person. One of the sweetest people I've met, actually. We're right here, man. It's just weird. Every time she's walking down the stairs, I have to assess how she's doing. Sometimes I can just say one small thing and she'll laugh. Other times she'll just mumble a response. And then there's times when she will just walk past me with this panicked look in her eyes and shut herself in the bedroom for 45 minutes. And I really am trying to be understanding about the whole thing, but I feel like it falls on me to at least motivate her a bit. I mean, how much of it has she control over? Is she leaving a mess because of anxiety or is it just bad habits? Not sure, but you shouldn't treat her like a child, you know? You're her roommate, it's not your responsibility to, co to coddle her or anything. I know, and she says the same thing. It just feels unfair to expect me not to worry. I want to help in a way she responds to. But it's difficult when her fears are irrational. What do you do in that situation? What do you say? What do you say to a person that's scared of their own mind? I don't know. Lucy, you home? Are you okay? You in there? Answer me, please. You're kind of scaring me. Just tell me if you're okay. Lucy, open the door. Now. I am worried. Oh. Hey, Ferky. Sorry, I locked the door. Yeah, I noticed that. Almost gave me a heart attack. What? Why? Well, I thought I had to spend the night outside and there's like bears, you know. There really isn't. Big, scary ones. Like, so big. Like, this big. Coward. So how was the cafe? It was, uh, it was nice. Not a lot of people there, though, despite it being new and all. Yeah, I don't really have hopes for anything new that opens up around these parts of town. There's, like, no one living here. There's me, two cats that fight all the time, an old couple, a guy who's probably named Chad, based on the sunglasses and some babies. That's all I've seen anyway. Well, I'm here too. I did say babies, yeah? Ooh, you scallywag. By the way, I want to say sorry about earlier today. I know it can be cold sometimes, and you of all people don't deserve that. Nah, you're good. I'm glad you told me how you feel. So, how's Jordan and Malcolm? Fine, I guess. They were asking about you. In what way? You know, if you're dating, your daily schedule, if you're open to marriage, what your nails smell like. 
not nails, hair. Oh, that would be so weird if somebody were to wonder what your nails smelled like. I don't want to think about that. So the usual. They were just asking how you were doing, basically. On top of the world. Although, I could let them know you're single. Maybe lead to a little smooch smooch? Not really interested. No, I mean Jordan's dating someone, but Malcolm is right up your alley. I don't think he is. I think a date would be really nice. I could invite him over, if that make you more comfortable. It would probably have the opposite effect. Alright, alright. Hang on. Hmm? Lirai fetches ball like a dog? Oh, yeah, he grew up with parents all dogs. So he picked up a few doggy traits. That's amazing. No... No who'd be impressed by that? Yeah, I call... Malcolm. See this ball in my hand? I do. See what I'm doing with it? You dropped it. Follow suit. You're really sassy, you know? You bring it out in me. Alright, I'll let it go. I guess... Hmm? You and I could hang out, though. Like we're doing right now? Like we're doing right now. Sounds nice. Come, sit. Yes, boss. So, uh, Lure I threw up today. Off to a good start with a small talk. I know, right? It's just... I know cats do that sometimes, but given that he's sick and all, I just worry if it's something... I don't know. He is old. Yeah, but he's like a reason to get out of bed. I don't do anything other than playing with Lyra and talking to you, you know? I saw some papers on your desk with a few drawings, though. I figured you had drawn them. Isn't that a thing you do? They're all drawings. I used to love it, but at this point, it just seems pointless, I guess. How come? They're uh, pretty darn good drawings. I just don't enjoy it anymore. I can't find the motivation to even begin. Isn't there something you'd like to draw, though? Uh... Well, I draw abstract, mostly, so let's do abstract. Not really. Mm. I just feel like I have so many choices, but none of them matter. I don't want to make them. All the stuff I used to love just has a different feel to it now. It feels like chores, just so I can say to myself that I did something with my day. I guess I just have to get used to the fact that the best years are behind me. Sounds more like an I 80 year old. Sounds more like an 80 year old. Why don't you? Yeah, I know. It's just like when I was young, or younger, I was always ready to try new things. I didn't really think about it. I remember when I was around 8 years old, my parents took me to the swimming pool outside town. It had a 2 meter diving board and a 5 meter one. Know what I did? The first thing I did? Climbed the ladder to the 5 meter diving board, got on top, I didn't look down. I felt free. I felt brave. I felt in control. My parents weren't watching me, probably rather concerned. Wait, my parents were watching me. But not me. I didn't think about what could go wrong. Fear didn't enter my mind. There was no danger that could get to me. So I just ran. Ran to the very edge of the diving board and jumped. I want that feeling again. 
That is a great memory, Lucy, but everybody goes through this. Maybe not exactly like you do, but everybody yearns from that carefree like they had when they were kids from time to time. I do it too. I miss not worrying about money, sleep, health. Just living. But although we'll probably never stop worrying, we can just still do the things we used to love. You can still run, jump, swim. Physically I can, sure. But I don't know. Maybe you're right. I guess complaining about wanting things without trying to get them is pretty pathetic. Maybe just a s maybe just start small. You said you don't know what to draw. Well, you can draw me. I'll pay you like a good million dollars. That ought to be enough motivation. A million dollars? Hmm. Just make sure to draw me really hot and sexy. I could just take a picture of you in that case. Flirting? Where are you going? I gotta get out of here. That was too smooth and I don't even know how to handle that. <laughs> it was flirting. <laughs> no, come back. I'm sorry. Promise me to never be that smooth again. I promise. Although, I'm not even a photographer, even though I could picture us together. Sit down! <laughs> Seriously though, if you feel like it, we can draw some stuff together. I mean, I'm not good at it, but I'm sure it would be a lot of fun. I do like that. Yeah. Um... I'm just making sure you won't try to leave again. Right. I'm sorry we ended up talking about me again. That's another thing that sucks. People are too nice to me. Never tell me to shut up. How awful of us. Well, I just miss people being a little more direct. Like, if I leave the milk out, I want people to be like, Hey, jerk face, you have the milk out. Are you stupid? It's gonna spoil. You think that's how people talk? They call each other jerk face? I wouldn't know. And therein lies the issue. I see. But let's talk about you now. Let me tell you the story about how I once got framed for eating the frosting on a birthday cake. We'll have a good drama. Ring ring.
Out to buy groceries and cookies because some jerk face ate the last one. I'll stop by the cafe and hang for a while, but I do have something to talk to you about. I'll probably be, ba be back at around 6. I'm gonna do it. Hmm, what do you think, Leroy? Do I look alright? Like someone whose wife isn't in shambles? That's great. Thanks. I don't know when I'll be home for once, so don't do anything stupid. Like me. Bye, Lurai. We're going out! <laughs> so exciting! I guess. <laughs> I'm not controlling this, by the way. Hey there. Oh, wait. Hey there. You looking for something? Oh, hi. Yes, I'm looking for Furky. Uh, is that a name or an item? A nickname for my friend. Well, I haven't heard that before. What does he, she look like? Um, she has orange hair and freckles. You know what? It's okay. I'll just leave. Sorry. You don't need to be so tense. You can come and sit with me and see if she comes in later. I'll even buy you some coffee. That's very kind, but I'm not sure that I would be comfortable with that. Just one cup. Come on. Uh, no thank you. I... Okay. That's how it'd be though. You don't want to do something and you can't straight up say no. Cause then you gotta come up with an excuse as to why no and... Uh, I understand this. And I hate it. So, where do you live? Oh, I live in this town. I figured, yeah. I mean, what street? Pendrip. No kidding, I live there too. Did you just move there? Because I think I'd remember seeing you. No, I've been there for a while. I see. What do you do for a living? I uh, don't have a job at the moment. Ugh, wish that was me. Work sucks, right? I don't know. I think it's quite nice to have something to do. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So? Huh? Is this your first conver conversation? Aren't you going to ask what I do for a living? Oh, okay. Uh, what, uh, do you, what do you do? Listen, if you're actually that repulsed by me, you can just say so. You don't have to be all weird. I'm not. I'm just... I'm not feeling very well. Yeah, sure. Hope you enjoyed the coffee. Bye. Leave them. L leave What? I'm sorry if I did something wrong. Uh-huh. What a jerk face. Hope you enjoyed your coffee, miss. It was nice. Thanks. Here's the bill. Huh? For the coffee. I don't... I thought... Was there a problem with the coffee? No, no, it was good. I just don't... I don't have my wallet with me. Oh. Can I open a tab or something? We don't really do that here. Is there a way you can get some money and come back? 
I don't know. I just... I thought it was already paid for. If you could show us some ID, I can write down your information and you can come back later. I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling well. Do you want me to call someone? Just a second. Ma'am, do you need medical help? I think I need to go outside for a second. Okay, that's fine, but you need to come back later today. I'm sorry, I just have to... Yeah... Lucy? Hey, what's going on? Hmm. Hey, I'm here. Just a sec, Lucy. Okay, look at me, Lucy. I'm right here. You're safe, okay? I'm scared. What are you scared of? I don't know. This... This feeling... I know. But we're gonna write this out, okay? Your panic attacks usually last, what, 30 minutes? I'm gonna sit right next to you, through it all, okay? I'll be over before you know it. It won't. It'll never be over. And everything I do confirms that. I'm in a constant loop of relapses. It's not a relapse, Lucy. This feeling is here right now, but it'll go away. I promise. Now, here. I know it's scary, but let's focus on something else, okay? Let's try. Think about Durai. Remember how last night he came in with a pine cone and presented it to you? Yeah. He was all proud, really thinking that would impress you. I can't. He curled up to you, his fur getting all over your clothes. Why do I feel this way? The mind is a stupid thing sometimes. It's constant, Furky. I don't even feel safe at home. When does it stop? Just a few more minutes. No, this, everything, just Make it stop. It hurts. You can get through it, Lucy. But I can't. Not when this sense of just paralyzing fear can come at any time. I just have to think one wrong thought and it spirals into something unstoppable. And it'll just become more frequent. I don't want this. I really don't want it. Ferky, it really feels like I'm dying. It really, it really feels like... Oh god. Frick. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It is. I swear. Please. Please. I'm right here. I just wish I never had my first bionic attack. It's only because I know how it feels that I'm so scared of it why it keeps happening. Lucy, take a deep breath and hold it. Your body needs to know that it's not in danger. I can't. I can't focus. Yes, you can. One deep breath. I don't want to spend the rest of my life this way. I just want to be okay. You will be. I'm sorry you have to deal with this. It's... Don't worry about that. I 
just want to do something nice for you for once. Is that why you were at the cafe? Yeah, got all dressed up. I can see that. Must look really ugly right now. You look like a walrus. Screw you. Sorry. You know, I keep refilling that bowl of fruit. Yeah? I've only ever eaten one apple from it. What about you? A couple of oranges. At this point, it's just decoration that goes bad after a few days. Maybe just keep the fruit in the fridge so it'll last longer? Yeah, but then it'd just be a dumb bowl. At least this way, it looks like we have our lives together. Oh, they have a bowl of fruit? Man, they must be a mature adult to know what it all it's all about. That's what I think. Right? I'm keeping it. It's your fruit. It's a statement. Hey, you wanna go to my room? Why? It's cozy, and I got a soft bed. Okay. So, how are you feeling? Tired? Hungry? So, pretty normal. I guess. You wanna just stay here for a while? I can bring you some food if you'd like. Thanks, but I'd rather you stay. Yes, boss. And, um... Thanks for being here. Don't thank me. You got through it all by yourself. Least I could do after you went to the cafe to see me. Actually ended up talking with some guy. Really? Who? Don't know. Light brown hair and glasses. Oh, that was probably Dennis. Only talked with him a few minutes. Seems like a decent guy. He got mad at me for being quiet. That guy's a complete tool. Hate his dumb face. I love the, t the shift of tone. It was pretty dumb. Want me to beat him up? You could destroy him. No doubt about it. I'm really tired, actually. So sleep. You mind staying till I fall asleep? No problem. I have a mattress here and a book. I'd be like, it'd be like a sleepover. A really somber one. It'll be great. Yeah. What about the ta? What about the coffee? That is cute. <laughs> um, am I having one of those dreams where you're dreaming about getting up and ready for work and something unexpected happens and then you actually wake up having to do it all over again? Um, I would say no, but it could just be a dream me lying to you. Say the alphabet backwards, because I know I can't do that, so in my dreams, Dream Lucy wouldn't be able to either. Z... Y? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H... So it is a dream. Seriously, what is happening? You have a boarding date? 
Well, I got up early and I guess since that whole cafe thing felt awesomely, I want to make you breakfast for once. No way. Yes way? I wanna pinch your cheeks. Can I pinch your cheeks? That's what they're there for. This is so nice. So nice that I am uncomfortable and don't know what to say. Come on, you made me breakfast a thousand times. Never was a candle white. Well, no. So, what are we having? Um, bread. And green stuff. And coffee. Mine is actually hot cocoa. Oh, also... This bag was lying on the kitchen table. It's yours, right? Oh! Oh no, did you look inside? I did. Well, there goes my surprise. It's for me? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, just ink pens, but the guy who sold them said they were really good for drawing, and I remember how you told me you used to draw when you were younger, so I figured... Wow. You're like the kindest people ever. Step up your game, rest of the world. Thanks, Furky. Hey, if you want... I could help you learn to draw after we eat. Well, I gotta go to work soon and um, I'm actually... Huh? I was hoping I could make a commission? You want me to draw something for you? Yeah, a drawing of us. Oh, wouldn't want me to put a little heart between us? I want to take it with me. What? Where? Don't get upset, okay? Upset? You never upset me. There's a first time for everything, right? Fair key? I'm... Uh, I'm moving. Oh. I've talked with my sister and she says is that a guy on her street is moving out of his apartment. And rent is basically nothing. It's in Hunton and it... Why? Why are you moving? There's a job there I think I'd really like and I wanted to tell you for a while but... Why are you moving? I need a change of pace. I am... I'm not doing good here, Lucy. Is it because of me? I just... I don't think I'm strong enough for this. Every time I'm out with friends, when I go for a walk, when I'm just talking, taking out the trash, I'm always worried about you. It fills my mind so much to the point where I can barely sleep. I just need... I don't know. That's... that's a really awful thing to do. I know, I'm sorry. I need you, Furky. You're the only one to keep me sane. But I can't. I feel like everything falls on me and it's just too much pressure. I want you to feel better, I really do, but I've been telling you to seek professional help for a long time. To go out and make friends, visit your parents, but you never did and I really want you to start doing that. If I do that, will you stay? If I stop talking about my problems with you, if I stop leaning on you, I need something different, Lucy. It's not just because of you. I love hanging out with you, but this place is not for me. I don't feel at home. It is because of me. No, I... Then just stop caring, then. Stop worrying about me, like I've been telling you to do. You keep, you keep giving me conflicting tasks. You either tell me that I'm the only one who can help you through this, and then you tell me I shouldn't worry about you, and... I can't just do that. You're asking me to change one of the core feelings about being human, you know? I can just shut off when I see you every day. I moved out of my parents' house to gain some freedom, to see more of the world, but I'm just not getting that. It's a crappy situation. But I didn't know what I was getting into. I'm overwhelmed, Lucy. And it's unfair for both of us. So you think moving away will make you stop worrying? Not entering the thought that I might get worse as time passes. 
Don't say that, Lucy. I need to focus on myself just a little. I get that, but moving away because of me makes me feel like a freak, like I'm a horrible person. Then stop having that mindset. Uh, <laughs> I don't want my every decision judged based on how it makes you feel. I want it to be how I feel. You said it yourself. You're not some wounded animal who needs to be constantly taken care of. Was that just empty words? No, but you're my best friend. Not because you take care of me, but because... I don't know, you just are. I was just hoping that... Lurai? Lurai! What's going on? It's... Is it Phenomia? Phenomia? I, I don't know, maybe? I'll talk him to the vet. Just stay here. I want to come with. You sure? I... Maybe I can... Yes or no, Lucy. Yes. I... You go. I'll stay here. Lucy! Alright. I'll hurry. He said there was no other option. There's gotta be some medication or something. We have to try at least. If we just extend the inevitable and he would be in pain the whole time. I'm sorry. There has to be something. It can't happen. Not now. I'm not ready. He has to be put down, Lucy. But what if he gets better? What if... Lucy. So what? I'm supposed to just give up? I don't want it either. I love him, but it's his body, you know? It's failing. It's just too much. I know. So what? What do we do? Well, I left him at the wet and I'll try to make him as comfortable as possible. He said they've made an appointment at Tuesday, 4 o'clock, to have him put down. I told him you might drop by an hour before to say your goodbyes. But. Listen, I know what you're thinking, but don't beat yourself up. If it's too overwhelming for you, I totally understand. You don't have to go, and that doesn't make you a bad person. You've given him a wonderful life, and that is all that matters. You won't come. I, I'm i leaving that day. I have to catch a train, so I, I can't. Oh. I'm so sorry, Lucy. I... Maybe I... maybe I shouldn't... What? I shouldn't move? I mean, nothing is set in stone yet, and maybe I didn't think it through. I really want to stay here with you. You're trying so hard to deal with everything, and I'm just... I'm just running away. That isn't fair. I want to help you get over this. I want to be there for you during the hard times. And I mean, we're still having fun despite everything. My favorite memories are of us just cozying up on the couch and drinking hot cocoa, listening to the rain hitting our roof outside. I'm telling you, I think you got it right with the whole staying in bed all day. Everyone else don't know what they're missing out on. But then again, everyone else doesn't have you. I do. And I don't want to leave that behind. You're so easy through. You know that? I don't. You told me you needed something else for key. And I could see it. That wasn't a lie. But it's okay. I know you're not moving because you hate me or anything. And I know I yelled at you and everything. But if you stay here, I will always wonder if you actually wanted to. If you're actually happy. Or if you were just worried about me. And I've had a lot of awful thoughts. But 
that one, that one would stand out. It's not your responsibility. You just chose the wrong roommate. You know what you want, Fer Ferky. That's what makes you so great. Don't change that. Just for me. I know you want me to be happy, and knowing you're happy whenever you are, will make me happy. I got confused at the end there. I heard happy like three times. Maybe I worded that weird, but... You've done more than enough for me, and I've always wanted to do something for you. And now I get that chance. So here it is. Go. Focus on yourself. I might not be thrilled about it, and I'm not going to lie and say that I will be perfectly okay. But I will try. Real hard. For you and myself. I really appreciate that, but I still think it's an awful thing to do. I'm your friend, and I know. And maybe it is. But you've done a million great things. I will allow this. <laughs> Whatever, you're not my real mom. Anything to get out of sappy conversation, huh? I can't help it. But seriously, thanks, Lucy. I'll come visit you now. I know you will. Maybe someday I'll come visit you. I'd really like that. They're all gone. 3.45. 15 minutes until you're gone. Lurai, I'm so sorry. And sorry for Kiz in there either. She wanted to. But she's at the train station, and I'm here, pretending you can hear me. I just said goodbye, but there were so many things I wanted to tell her. I don't want her to go. I want her to be with me. I want to be with her. I want you here as well. All of us, together. But you're all gone in a few minutes, and I can't even muster up the courage to see either of you one final time. I'm such a coward. After all this, I've only gotten worse. I have no control over my life. Ferky's note. Out to buy groceries and cookies because some jerk face ate the, uh, the last one. I'll stop by the cafe and hang for a while. But I do have something to talk to you about. I'll probably be back at around six. I... No. No! No, screw this. I can't let my freaking mind win again. I can do this. I have control. My ears. <gasps> Arrow keys to move. Enter to interact. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! This whole time I couldn't control her. I... <sighs> I... That is so amazing. Oh my god, that is so amazing! Wait, did it say E or ENTER? I think a few of these shirts are actually hers. Don't actually remember the last time I watered this plant. Maybe for kid did it for, for, for me time to time. I think the me is missing there. Her note. I wonder how long she knew before she decided to tell me. Mm. I have to get going. I should probably start using my trash can instead of just throwing stuff on the floor. You should. That's what trash cans are for. The fruit hasn't gone bad yet. <laughs> I remember when we bought this table inside because it began raining three weeks ago. That's her room, isn't it? Mm. Every home needs a junk drawer, I guess. Or shelf in this case. 
Who's going to do all the shopping without her? This place will be a mess without Furky. Hmm. Do I need to go pee? I'm good for now. At least this was mine. Huh. The water pipes always used to rumble when Freaky was uh, taking a shower in the morning. That's a little bit weird thing to think about when you look at a shower. <laughs> Not gonna lie. She left a few pucks. Alright, let's do it. I can do this. Just step outside. I'm gonna say- Okay, I know this is a horrible moment for me to pause. And I'm sorry. And I will record- The next time I record, I will record this game. Because, oh my god, it's so good. I... am gonna say that I really like this game. I, uh, it's a bit heavy, I'm not gonna lie, but I liked it, and I know that we just took control, and it's probably the worst time for me to end, but I've been recording for an hour with straight up content that's good, that I'm probably not gonna cut out, and it's probably gonna be long, so I wanna make sure that I break it up, so, you know. But next time I record, which is going to be Monday, hopefully, I will record this game. Just so you have this game and then the other one backed up. I promise you. I know I promise other stuff. I'm working on it. I have so many games to play. Ah, okay. Um, but give this video a like if you liked it or give it a dislike if you didn't. Uh, comment down below a question that I can answer or a just a random comment or maybe how this made you feel this almost made me cry I'm not gonna lie and uh, what you think of it so far and subscribe if you'd like to see more I hope you all have a great night day